You know the Kardashian uh, curse? Yeah. So people found out that back in the 1800s, they had an ancestor called Kikil, right? Yeah, yeah. So K you know them Kardashian hoes been putting cast a spell on black niggas since they first, since we first seen them. I get paid every day, every day. I get paid, I get paid just to say I get paid, I get paid. Mm. Money coming to me easily, money coming in repeatedly, money coming in and needing me, money coming, it's just money coming, it's just money. What's up, y'all? So we're back with some more creepy celebrity conspiracy theories. And these two obviously involve Post Malone and the Kardashian girls and curses. So let's get into it. All right, so the first curse we're going to talk about is the Kardashian curse. So back in the 1800s, the Kardashians had an ancestor named Kikil, and she was a 19-year-old mother who was abused as a child. So she ended up running away because a bunch of bad shit was happening to her in her life up until this point. So like I said, she runs away and she allegedly seeks refuge in this village named Shikahol. <laughs> Y'all, I swear that's what they were that village is, okay? That village in Armenia is known for like witches and shit, right? So Kikil ends up connecting with four of the witches in that village and she tells them that she doesn't want any of her future generations to go through what she went through as a child. So she wants them to have beauty, fame, and fortune. And the witches granted that, but allegedly the catch was that they would never find true love and they would always have bad luck when it comes to relationships. And any man who they dealt with would end up going downhill after they were done with him. Because to give to them, it has to be taken from somewhere, allegedly. Fast forward to now, the Kardashian curse is allegedly still going strong from how things have turned out for a lot of the guys they've been in relationship. You know, them Kardashian hoes been putting cast a spell on black niggas since they first since we first seen them, when we were inducted to them. I'm Kanye, he under a spell right now. They have been casting spell on, spells on black dicks to bring them black dicks over there to them houses. I want Kylie. You wanna, you wanna hear Kylie's side of the story? I wanna hear what Kylie, what, what happened. Cause see, Kylie know all the shit what's going on. Cause she was the, you know, she a part of the Calabasas witches over there, honey. They brought them motherfuckers niggas <laughs> over there anyway. I'm screaming, the Calabasas damn, witches. Lighting up them damn wicks of wisdom candle. Say, I'm you like, what the fuck they was going to her part? Oh, they all in the pool. When I'm seeing them in the pool, I'm like, mmm, this a water witch. <laughs> this bitch got about three or four blue and purple candles going on in her house right now. Those How you know what color the candle's supposed to be? Girl, I've watched that mama. You ain't never seen, uh, uh. Hocus Pocus? No, no, girl. What's their mama name? Chris, Chris, you ain't never seen Chris Jenner on that on that commercial with the wicks of wisdom. Oh, bitch, you you listen. I've been telling y'all them hoes been witches since I since I've been watching them. Mm, I watched their mama go on YouTube right now and look up wicks of wisdom, and you gonna see uh, Chris Kardashian up there uh, promoting them damn witch candles. I'm screaming. And I believe that they've been casting voodoo spells on those men. The, the, the I also recently found out, you know, the uh, Kardashian yeah. curse? Yeah, yeah the, the one that's like, if, if, if you date. Yeah. yeah. So there's actually lore. Yeah. So people found out that back in the 1800s, mm. they had an ancestor, right? Mm. Called uh, Kikil. Back then, she was like abused by her parents. She was 19 year old with a kid. Her parents didn't like her. She had all types of trauma, right? So Kikil, she fled. She ran away from her home and she, I think she ended up in a province in Armenia. I forgot what it's called. Yeah. But in Armenia, that province is known for witches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So she connected to the witches. She's like, okay, I don't want my grandchildren in the future to have the same upbringing as me. Mm -hmm. So I want you to grant them a beauty fortune and fame right so they did that the witches did that the witches said that they can grant them but the only downfall is that they will never ever find true love mm. or they will always have uh troubles finding a significant other and so look what happened it's like a curse that comes with that it comes yeah. with it yeah so it makes sense because i i believe it because fam kardashians look what happened to kanye fell out of love mm -hmm. uh pete fell out of love but they do have all these fame and fortune Every man that has dated a Kardashian has lost something. But how and why? There are two sides to every story, but there's only one backstory. April Ryan set for an exclusive interview with Kim Kardashian for a new Netflix documentary. I must ask you, it seems like your family has a fascination with black men. Kim's rebuttal was robotic, seemingly well rehearsed. We can't help who we fall in love with. Yes, that's totally understandable. But every man that has dated a Kardashian has had his share of troubles with the law or drugs or some type of mental breakdown. April, I appreciate your question, but most men know what they signed up for. Is this done for clout or credibility? My family are go-getters. We see what we want and we do everything in our power to get it. 
An uncomfortable sneer colored April's face, followed by a barrage of screams coming from the edge of the hall. Is everything okay down there? April spoke with concern. Kim ignored her question and fixed her face with a nervous smile. The ferocious screams got louder. From the corner of April's eye, she stole a glimpse of a man being dragged away against his will. April tried continuing the conversation, but the terrifying screams lingered. Do you mind if we take a break? I, I need a restroom break. Sure. Up the hall. To your left. Kim sat quietly, staring at the wall. April snuck away like an ambitious reporter. She was on the hunt for the story. She creeped up the hall and made a right turn. In the rear of the massive property, she heard a daunting whimper that led her to an isolated room. She softly turned the knob, peeking inside. In the room was the rest of the Kardashian clan, each of them swaying in unison. April's troubled eyes noticed the array of male photos that aligned the walls. Ray J, Reggie, Nick, Lamar, Tiger, Kanye, Travis, Tristan, Blake. Their sweet voices elevated into soft chants. April remained hidden in the shadows, petrified by what she was witnessing. She held her lips tight, reaching for her camera phone. I knew something was up with these demonic bitches. April watched as Chloe led the whimpering man into the room. It was R&B star The Weeknd. His eyes were dilated, his body limped like a noodle. What are they gonna do with that man? The Kardashian clan reignited their powerful chant high into the ethers. April slowly backed deeper into the shadows. For a moment, her eyes met the weekend. His eyes screamed for help in silence. She knew she had one choice to make. The Kardashian curse is a real thing in the NBA. Every time a Kardashian slash Jenner has dated an NBA player, something bad has happened to them. The most famous example of this is Lamar Odom. He started dating Khloe Kardashian, and he went from winning championships to being out of the NBA within two seasons. Khloe eventually filed for divorce, and this caused Lamar Odom to go haywire. He was found at a brothel in Nevada, having had multiple heart attacks from overdosing on drugs. He luckily has recovered though. She also dated Rashad McCants, and at the time when they started dating was also the time when Rashad McCants' NBA career ended. Also famously, she was in a relationship with Tristan Thompson, and she just happened to start dating him in 2017, the same year that Tristan Thompson and the Cavaliers with LeBron started losing finals. All I'm saying is a coincidence, totally not blaming the Kardashian curse for LeBron not winning those rings. Kim Kardashian was famously married to Chris Humphreys for 72 total days, and during this period of time, Chris Humphreys' NBA career went down the drain. Kendall Jenner has famously dated multiple superstars, Ben Simmons in 2018, right after he stopped being an all NBA level talent, Blake Griffin, whose knees just decided to give out as soon as he started dating Kendall. Oh, and Devin Booker, right when he made the NBA finals and lost. His team subsequently has never gotten close to the finals again. You ready for me to get this curse off my back? Yeah. Wait, what curse? <laughs> the Kardashian curse. There's a curse? Anybody that's dated a Kardashian, including Rob, that's a boy, has gotten cursed. After this last guy, I had to take matters into my own hands. No way. I've never heard about this before, and I think Scott is going crazy. So what would you like me to look at first? I feel like some curse has been put upon me, along with a lot of other men that I'm close with. OK. Let me take a look at it and see what I get. The cards talk about a load of negative energy that's been going on. Um, then the center of the spread comes up the devil card, which means there's a, definitely an energy that's been following you around. It says that everything that you try to do, you have a tendency to have um, many obstacles in front of you. So to answer your question, I would probably say you do have a curse. Okay. Okay. You know, right off the bat, she confirms that there is a curse. So I think she's pretty good. Court. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How was Napa? Mom was so fun. She got so drunk, but like it was good. It was funny. She had a fun day. So Scott thinks he's cursed. I don't even believe in that dumb thing, but yeah. Yeah. 
So Kendall calls me and tells me that Scott bought a rooster to rid himself of the Kardashian curse. Scott is so ridiculous. I mean, he does weird things anyway, but this is like on another level. He just like is reaching. I'm so annoyed he even thinks that exists. Like there's no such thing. Obviously. Of course, put the blame somewhere else, you know? Always. He never wants to take like accountability for his own actions. He wants to always put the blame on someone else. Yeah. Court? Yeah. What are you guys doing? Hi. 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 Hello. Benny Jun. Benny Jun. Are you Armenian? No. Oh. He looks oh. Armenian, though. Yeah, totally. Who's home? Who's that, Northy? Hello, Northy. Uh. Oh, no, Rain. Hi. Oh, is it Rain? Where's Max? Mm. Hi, Mike. He's here. Little chunk. Hi, Rainy. Wait, what's going on? What do you mean? You think that we cursed you. Did you really go to a voodoo doctor? I've, I've been shopping around, yeah. I just think a lot of people have come into this family and hasn't been the easiest. It's such a lie. You guys think nothing is ever wrong. A Kardashian curse? It's not real. Are you joking? I'm offended. Kim asked the doctor to save her my bone so she could make jewelry out of it. Like what kind? That's weird. It's creepy. Kim Kardashian. A hundred percent narc. A hundred percent. A thousand percent. She is the worst out of the siblings. I think they all are, mm. but I think she's the ringleader. Oh, well, yeah. no, Chris is the ringleader. Yes. She's Chris's mini-me because she's the one that did the sex tape and it opened the door for all of them to be eaten. Right. But Chris trained her. Oh. Chris is the real pimp in that family. Oh. Kim Kardashian, Kardashian is the epitome of a female narcissist. Very promiscuous, arrogant. It's, everything's about her. Yeah. But then she goes and marries Kanye. And you see how that turned out. Right. That's what two narcissists are. She would take him back right now She if he said, take me back, Kim, she would. I kind of still believe in Santa because you, ha you have to believe in magic. Those that don't believe in magic will never find it. There's a lot of magic that has happened in my life. People always ask, how did you do this? And I'm just like, a little bit of magic played a role in that too. I love Kimberly Noel. Think what you want about her, but she's my girl. So I got this really crazy comment on one of my older videos, okay? Just stick with me and tell me if you guys think this makes sense. So I'm going to paraphrase the comment, but it was something um, like, the scandals that these celebrities are constantly experiencing in, in the media are just the terms of the agreement that they signed in order to achieve the level of fame and success that they have. Let's put that into perspective with these ladies. No matter how happy they are and how successful they are and how much money they have, their relationships are completely unstable. Does that sound like a sacrifice that they may have made? Do you know about the Kardashian curse? Back in the 1800s, an ancestor of the Kardashians, known as Kikol, a 19-year-old with a kid was abused by her parents. Due to trauma, she ran away from home and ended up in a province in Armenia. There she met a witch and wished that she didn't want her grandchildren to have the same fate as hers and grant them beauty, fortune, and fame. The witch will grant the wish, but there's a caveat. The bloodline will never find true love and will always find trouble finding their significant others. This is the real reason why Kim Kardashian and her family are famous.
There's a conspiracy that in the 1800s, an ancestor of the Kardashians sacrificed her soul to four witches so that all the women in her bloodline would always have fame, success, and beauty. But on the flip side, every man in their lives would suffer because of this. Kylie literally said it herself. Every male figure that comes and dates a Kardashian, their life kind of just goes downhill after that. Rob Kardashian going from model slash actor to having severe depression and not being able to leave his house. Scott Disick, a very successful businessman to struggling with alcoholism and depression. Lamar Odom, successful NBA player to dealing with addictions and overdoses. Travis Scott, one of the most successful artists in the world, has the most disastrous concert in the world, hasn't released an album in years and has many lawsuits against him. Bruce Jenner who transitions to Caitlyn and gets ostracized by her whole community. And then we have Con Kanye, and I think we all know about Kanye. By the way, this video is scripted and for entertainment purposes only. Stay weird. Okay, so I have a theory. And it's literally just the type of stuff that go on in my own head. This is for entertainment purposes only. But I believe that Kris Jenner is a witch. She did a beauty ritual that is why it's really responsible for their fame, right? And I think that the ritual has expired. I don't have no proof behind this, but it probably been around seven years. And they don't even look like the same people to me no more. Like, all of a sudden, they look so different. Like, what is going on? I don't know, y'all, but we're watching the rise and the fall in real time because people are just not as allured by them anymore. As a matter of fact, it seems as if people are becoming more and more annoyed by all of them in these late days. I don't know. <laughs> it's looking real spooky to me. I don't know, y'all. It's giving witch. It's okay, y'all been dying for this video and I've been kind of like sick. I don't know, maybe I was laughing at the queen too much. I don't know. Anyway, I digress. Um, we gonna make this video. This is gonna be two parts because this video is gonna be long. Um, but this is the video that y'all been waiting for about the fucking Kardashians. Um, I'm doing a lot of research on them and their family tree and their past and history. And this is what I've come together. I don't know if this makes sense to y'all, but this is what I put together. So let's go. Okay, so follow me on this timeline, right? Because we gotta bring it back to the 1800s first. So this is the story of Keko Kardashian that y'all have been waiting for. Right? So in 1800s, in 1809, a dark-haired woman stroked through the deep forest, uh, forest of Armenia, and it was raining hard, but she was determined. The young woman was named Keko Kardashian, the great-great-great-great-great-grandmother of Kim, Courtney, Chloe, and Rob. She was beautiful, but her life was hard. She had her first child at 19, an intent for foraging a better future for her, for her child. Keko sought after a witch clan of the Shikahoga in the Shikahoga woods. Keko cried out to the witch as she was seeking a better future for her child and she was willing to offer anything, even her soul. Four witches appeared and asked if she was willing to offer her soul and she said yes. Keko replied she has nothing but nothing for herself but to give but to give fame, fortune, and physical beauty to her offspring and future generations of Kardashians. And to free them from a toll from the toll, I guess, of being poor. The second witch asked if she was sure that's all she wanted. The witch said yes, and that's and they would grant her wish if she did the dance of the Shikoga, which is an ancient dance the witches enjoyed. The Ke Keko said that she would if they showed her how. The witches ordered her to stand naked in, in front of them, and she did. They adorned her with preparations for the dance, and the witches put a hedgehog on her head and a leopard's tail. They offered her a dance and laughed at her because she was such a horrible dancer. They had to take they had taken her dignity from her and her own amusement and spread gossip around the nation about her terrible dancing. Meaning they told everybody this spell and everything that she did that it was Keiko Kardashian. So everybody knew that that what she did. Okay? So y'all with me now. Everybody knows that she did this now. Everybody knows that she did this because of the witches they told and gossip, right? Okay, this is the 1800s, right? So now we go to the 1900s, and I found this exclusive, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, circa 1900s, right? How Kim Kardashian's answers is heeded prophet's warning of looming slaughter to escape rural Armenia for a new life in the United States. So it was a prophet, right? But then I found this, in the Armenian witch hunt. So the Armenian witch hunt literally... This is what I'm saying. So there's there's been witch hunts uh, to kill deliberately a group of people for practicing stuff that they did, you know. Obviously, this was a time when they were trying to take over religious groups. They were trying to, to take over the Armenian. The Turkey was. So 
my question is did they really flee because of the genocide or because they were warned and or were they outcasted was the family outcasted because of the spell okay here go part two because yeah mm -hmm. so this is present day now and this is just proof to me that kim kardashian and the clan are witches let's go wait 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 before we get into this this bitch this is nasty she looks disgusting disgusting Pause and read for that. To read that caption, no. Marina Abramovich. Marina Abramovich. If y'all know, y'all know. This person. Please look her up. Right. They say she's Hollywood's biggest witch. I don't know. They say like her race for like three thousand or whatever she is. Mm -hmm. She is. If you're looking up this type of party, it's on YouTube. Trigger warning, please, please let me know this world. Please just let me know. But it's so serious. At one point, it looked like Kim Kardashian was becoming obsessed with this girl. Like, she was starting to look like her. Mm hmm. But this is what her spirit cooking parties look like, if y'all don't know. If y'all know Pizzagate, then y'all should know. Uh huh. Even y'all queen was seen to be there, okay? Hmm. Isn't that funny? Do y'all also remember when Chris was selling the motherfucking candles? Wicks of wisdom? Mm-hmm. She was selling them. She was selling them. She was selling them. She was selling them. I can't tell me these bitches ain't witches. I'm sorry. You can't tell me. You can't tell me that these bitches ain't witches. It even goes back far. Like, come on. I, I showed y'all the first video. Like, y'all can't tell me that these bitches is not witches. This is honestly what is given to me. This is how I feel that they are. Let me show y'all. <laughs> This is what is given. Let's talk about the Kardashian curse. Do you believe in it? Do you think it's a myth? Do you think it's all made up? Or do you actually think that there's something there? Or at least the least of it all, the Kardashian. The Kardashian curse. What do you think of it? Do you think it's real? Do you think it's all made up? Do you think it's a way of them keeping people talking about them because at the end of the day, they're not real witches? And they have no control over the people that are around them, including all the men in the family. What do you think? Well, in my opinion, I do believe there's something there. I believe that they are lighting up candles. And I do believe that there is a higher power working for these people, those, those ladies, the Kardashians. Because let me just say that, first of all, I did make a live about that a long time ago. It will probably be is my first live on this channel, but it was talking about the Kardashians. And I was actually watching a video of Miss Dr. Linda Salvin, which is the one that basically provided them with their first candle. Well, probably not their first time using candles, but definitely provided them with candles for their work, which I have used some of her candles. So I know it's work and I know she's a real person because I've seen her interviews. But this lady right there actually can confirm that the Kardashians do use magic and do use like candle work to help propel or to activate whatever it is that they're doing because at the end of the day you can get the spirit world to work in your favor when you already have something in the physical working right because at the end of the day people think that magic is just like you know fairy dust in the air something crazy happened when you do magic no usually it's candles herbs in your kitchen that people use to manifest because all it is is your intentions the candle is just there as a reminder to help you you know to continue to work on whatever it is that you're working on and the color that you use is based on the days of the week and based on what you are trying to manifest so yeah people can just use candles and the kardashians have been using magical candles for a really really long time because they used to work for miss dr Linda salvin Whenever the first season of the Keeping Up with the Kardashian came out, they did the commercial, light some candles to start the work to, you know, to get the work going. And plus the tape that Kim put out, her tape that her mom basically reviewed and put out, also helped them to get to the heights that they're in right now. But the candles that Dr. Landa Salvin had Kris Jenner do the infomercial for helped also to get them to the position that they're in. 
and even part of their I've seen one of the episodes of the Kardashians where they were burning candles. And if you are someone who know about these things, you know what to look for, you know what it is as soon as you notice it, you will notice. But people who are not part of those quote-unquote spiritual world, then you won't notice it. Like, for example, you see the evil eye somewhere, you know that people who live in that home where you see the evil eye believe in the evil eye and believe that, you know, someone's glance, 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 can harm you or you know harm your life so you know those people know in in one way or another what the evil is and what it can do because at the end of the day what you don't know can actually hurt you right so that's how i was able to point out as soon as i saw a video or one of the uh one of the episodes of the kardashians and i saw some of the candles and the closet and also some crystals i knew that those people were into it then I came across a video of Dr. Linda Salvin talking about her infomercial that Kris Jenner basically and her children came and they ransacked the whole backstage before they performed because at that point she was actually dating Kylie Jenner's father, Caitlyn Jenner. She was married to him at that time and she basically explained how the Kardashians are very, you know, very disrespectful children especially the Jenner kids they're disrespectful and they do not respect their parents because they were backstage and they were acting a fool and the Chris and her husband at the time had no control over those kids so yeah I saw the whole interview about it but she did say that you know after everything was done she gave them a bunch of candles and they've been using those candles ever since I mean if I was them I would use those candles too because they work I've used them Storm Storm Monroe one of the YouTube who one of the YouTubers on YouTube, he also used them because he's the one that does the interview with Dr. Linda Salvin. And he said it all the time that he actually used her candles. And they work, I can tell you for a fact that they do work. But the Kardashians do have this thing that you guys heard about, which is the Kardashian curse. And it's been around for a long time. I've learned about it for a very, very long time since the whole thing came out. I've been learning about it. And I know that... Um, it does affect the men and the family because look at all the examples of all the men that they've dated. All the men that have dated, none of them actually were spared. I thought Kanye was gonna be spared from it, but looks like he's not spared spared from it. Even the the son, Rob Kardashian, he's also affected by it. All the male that they've ever been married to, Rob the first, Rob Kardashian's father, he also got uh you know got affected by it. And also Kim's husbands, Chris's husbands, all of them. Every, all of the girls' husbands basically have been affected by this whole Kardashian curse situation. I mean, you will be actually, you will be trying so hard to tell me that this there's not something there that's affecting the men and the family. Because at the end of the day, there's just no way that every man that you've dated, something happened to. It's either that they actually sold their soul, maybe to... To a mermaid who does not like men and everything every time that they end up getting close to a man something happens to them because that's that's actually a thing where if you have dedicated your life to a deity and they don't like men they're going to do whatever it takes for them to get that man out of out of your life so it really is a thing there's something definitely that is keeping them from being happy with men and relationships because clearly you can tell that they are they do want to be with someone and they do want to be happy but it just seems like they can't the only thing that they can do is collect money and you know stay keeping being richer even though words on the streets is that excuse me they're not as rich as they're making it seem to be so i'm not sure what's going on they can't keep a man and also they cannot keep money in their bank account either that's there's Maybe they have to go and, <laughs> and burn that contract up because clearly something's not right. Anyways, guys, I will talk to you later. Let me know what you think about this whole Kardashian curse. I've actually talked about it before in my previous life. And that is the reason why I really don't have much else to talk about because I've already spoke about it for a while now. So you let me know what you think about it and I will see you in the comment section. Bye.